9 p.m. This is what it looks like. First band will go off in about a half an hour, and we'll go on probably about 10:30. Small crowd, but it's a fun crowd. I'm liking this. Good stuff. 10:30 p.m. First band got done. We've set up, or I've set up. The other guys are finishing up, setting up. I'm out here relaxing for the final minute before we get to it. I'm feeling real good about this. I think we're going to play very well. I like the audience. It's a small audience, but it's a fun audience. They seem ready to go. A lot of good-looking women. I like it. I like it. Let's hope for the best. It's midnight. Just got done with our set. All my gear is out here. Waiting for the rest of the guys to bring their gear out here so we can load it up into the van, get back to the hotel, crash out, be back on the road by 7 a.m. Well, the show wasn't entirely satisfying, but it wasn't disappointing either. We knew, as any band does, that on a Thursday night, and a band that none of these people have ever heard of because we're from out of state, you, know, you can't expect much of a crowd and you can't expect them to stick around. Well, there wasn't much of a crowd and only about half of them stuck around. Still, you know, it's to be expected. It's to be expected, so not as happy as it could be, but not disappointing because we expected this. Tomorrow night will be different. No question about it. Yes. 6.13 a.m. Friday morning. All right, everybody up. Let's go. 7.30 a.m. on Friday morning. We are leaving Reno behind. We're on our way to Salt Lake City. And for the only leg of the entire trip, we have all five members of the band trapped in a moving vehicle. Johnny Rock behind the wheel. We got me in the driver's seat. We got JD again. And we also have our two guitars. We have Jay Pottinger. How are you feeling after last night's show, Jay? Feeling great. It's a good time. <laughs> All right. Yeah, I just love I just love it when it's a freaking so so to sparse crowd. Yeah. Woo! And in the back we have Dr. Kidar right. Patel. <laughs> how are you Teddy. feeling, bud? All right. Hey. Kidar, tell them how much money we made last night. We made forty six bucks. <laughs> And plus the money Kadar won, so that means we got like 120. Yes, this trip will pay for itself yet. <laughs> 8 a.m. We've got 80s heavy metal crunching all day, and we've got absolutely beautiful scenery. I love it. As my father would say, beats the shit out of working. Hell yeah. I like working. How are we all feeling? Very good. Hey, yeah. Think about you. That's why we're fucking in Winnemucca. Ready? Here you go. So you can take your goddamn poop yeah, shit. We're in Winnemucca. Poop uh, shit. We, we've traveled about 150 miles. 9.45 a.m. We're in Winnemucca, Nevada. To take, as Johnny Rock put it, poop shit. Now we're here to gas up, get some grub. Everything's going well. Never mind Johnny's rant, that's simply the way it's been the whole way. That's why I like taking these uh, journal entries when the guys ain't around. Yeah, you can drive you nuts a little bit, you know, being stuck with the five guys for hours on end. But that's part of it, that's part of the experience of being on tour. You know, if I didn't want it, I wouldn't be doing it. I like it. I can't wait to get to Salt Lake City, see our friends at Utah Blitz. Fantastic. That's the state of our economy today. Even the graveyards are hurting for business. Look at that. Big old pot, only a couple customers. Okay, it's noon on Friday. Since our last rest stop, uh, Dr. Patel has taken over the driving. You call it driving. And he's done very well. <laughs> Taking over the cruise control and uh, figure that out. That's a big it seems one. everybody's gotten into a bit of a mellow mood. Uh, I know. It's good that I started driving. From Reno to whatever that town was. Hey, it was alive. pretty raucous. But now that Kadar's taken over, everybody's just mellowed out. Johnny's in the back. I'm driving so calm and smooth. There he is. We're filming each other. There you go. Jay Pottinger. He's doing some work-related stuff. What's up? Oh yeah, the money ain't gonna earn itself, right, Jay? Exactly. <laughs> hey. hey. <laughs> JD is doing 
whatever JD does when nobody's in the mood for any conversation. Up, uh, the address for you. Oh, there you go. Very good. Very good. But now I, <laughs> I told it to you. I hope you remember it. Yes, indeed. And Kadar, how do you like driving <laughs> this thing? It's fun. This is pretty comfortable. Hey, hey. All right. So we're all doing well. We're making good time. Everything's going to go all right. And the show tonight's going to be excellent. I know it. Yes. Okay. All right. Thank you much. Take a look at it. I'm sure it's okay. Uh, it'll be fine. Uh -oh. Jay, let's have a toast to a successful tour. Hey, uh, cheers. cheers. Yes, indeed. Cheers. Yes. Cheers. I just let me know if you're going to drive. All right, guys. Cheers, Johnny. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Cheers. Cheers. Yes, cheers. Yes, cheers. Yes, cheers. Yes, yes, yes. Thanks, guy. You're white, and fat does not equal carpool. Get the hell out of the way, you fat fucking fuck. All right, we're now in Utah. Yeah! yeah! And who are our favorite people? Who are our favorite ladies in Utah? The ladies! Ah! Hey, look, yeah. Bonneville Salt Flats. Bonneville Salt Flats! Yeah! It's 3 p.m. Mountain Time. We stopped at the Bonneville Salt Flats just to rest up, take a whiz. It is absolutely beautiful. It's a gorgeous day. Perfectly comfortable. My God, I, I can stand. I can stand here all day. All is well. Hope you like that freak out by Johnny on the road. I've noticed that. I guess whoever's driving the vehicle sets the mood for the entire for the entire vehicle. When Kadar was driving, everybody was mellow. When Johnny's driving, everybody goes nuts. Good times. Good times. 5 p.m. We've arrived in Salt Lake City, no problem. Now, here I am at room 825 of the downtown Sheraton. Let's see what it looks like. This will do. This will do. Okay, it's quarter till six and the band is hanging out in the spa. How you doing, fellas? Hey, Helps you unwind after the long drive, huh? Just be, sure, just be sure you don't get so relaxed that it uh, leaves you all loosey goosey for the show, okay? Excellent. Oh, I'm doing just fine. Don't you worry about me. Yes. <laughs> All right, tonight's gonna be fun, ain't it? Las Vegas. Oh yeah, tonight's gonna be fun. Get in kind of early. Yes, we may fall asleep in the night. 7:30 p.m. I'm walking from the hotel room to the club because it's just good exercise after sitting in a car all day. I'm feeling good about this. I'm feeling real good about this. I think it's going to go just fine. Yes. It's quarter till eight. I just arrived at the club. I like it. This place is big. The stage is big. There's plenty of room for them to move around. The drum riser is big. It'll easily fit all my gear. I like this. Now the only thing we need to be big is the crowd. And I'm feeling, I'm feeling there will be. I'm feeling real good about this. It's 11.15. The show is over and I'm now walking back to the hotel. The show went very well. There were several technical glitches, but we played well and the audience reacted well. In particular, the ladies in the Utah Blitz. Just about everybody in the Blitz who said they were going to show up, showed up. That's very rare. We appreciate the hell out of them for it. Yes. And now, you know, all across the nation, everybody thinks Salt Lake City is a place that has no nightlife at all. 
I've never been sold on that. I think it's there. I just have nowhere to look for it. Let's see if I'm right. 2.30 a.m. I was pretty much right. There's plenty of nightlife here if you know where to look. But what I found out is that, well, there's plenty of quantity. The quality doesn't quite measure up to what I'm used to. Oh, well. Nothing ventured, nothing gained. 8.15 a.m. I'm at a hair salon having my hair done in prep for today's festivities. Yes, halftime show at the Utah Blitz game and then the Blitz after party at Wasted Space. I look ridiculous right now, that's why I'm keeping the camera off me. <laughs> Had to take a cab out here and it was quite expensive. Of course, cabs always are. Wow. This was an expensive trip in the first place, but you know my own personal spending on this, it's gone way over budget. It's gone way over budget. I need to work on that. 10 a.m. I'm walking to the Mormon Cathedral, the Mormon Temple, that everybody says you're supposed to go see when you're in Salt Lake City. I've been to it once, but when it just happened to be conference week and I couldn't get within a quarter mile of the thing. Today I'll be different. Here's your consumer safety tip. Peace tea, green tea flavored. Stuff tastes like a goddamn spittoon. Yuck. All right, I'm here. And there it is. Mormon Temple. Thing's massive. Impressive. Let me zoom into that statue on top. Uh, that's as far as it goes. Don't know who that is. That's wicked cool. And these folks don't stop at the main Mormon temple either. I mean, look at this. This is the Joseph Smith Memorial Building right across the street from me. That thing's got enough grandeur. It can almost count as a temple in its own right. Look at that. Amazing. Hey, hey, and you thought Saturday morning cartoons were dead. CBS Channel 2 News shows cartoons. And that's appropriate. CBS News is a motherfucking cartoon. Of course, they sure as fuck ain't getting any help from the material, that's for sure. 1 p.m. I'm walking to the Blitz game now. It's a very refreshing walk, about two miles. It feels great. Anything can happen at this pre-game and halftime show we're doing. We've never played in an athletic stadium before, so I think there's going to be sound issues. There's going to be technical issues. And sometimes stuff just flat out screws up. We'll do our best. Absolutely. And it'll be a great game to see, too. Blitz and Phil Portland fighting Phillies. Two very evenly matched teams. It's going to be great fun. And after that, we'll move to the after party.